Mr. Jensen. Hugh Darrow here. Please forgive this intrusion, but David assured me of your cooperation and discretion. I find myself in need of some assistance. I'm listening. A contact of mine, Meng Yao, is in Hengsha, waiting to fill you in. I'll upload her coordinates now. Best it. Yeah, I will be right. You want best in the city? Thank you. Come again. Mr. Jensen, right? Thank you for your time. I am Meng Yao, an associate of Mr. Darrow's. I'm in charge of one of his divisions here in Hengsha. You come highly recommended. Really? Your boss described you as a most precious asset. Apparently, you are very efficient and always get the job done. We could definitely use a man like you for this operation.
Let's hope his confidence is well placed then. Oh, I'm sure it is. Mr. Darrow doesn't trust just anyone. We need you to help us stop a group of terrorists who are threatening the Panchea project. It is not an easy task. Are you sure you are up to it? Okay, I'll help out. Excellent. Here's the situation. It has come to our attention that these terrorists possess highly classified proprietary information about Panchea. We've been able to convince them to sell it to one of our agents, a man named Lofei. The meeting is supposed to take place near the Alice Garden Pods in the Daigong District. And you want me to crash this meeting? Actually, there will not be a meeting. We are sending you alone to ensure Mr. Fei's safety. The terrorists will not be expecting that, and will have the information with them on a data chip. You have to neutralize all of the sellers and retrieve the chip so you can bring it to me. I don't get it. If Fei set up the meeting, why risk sending me in his stead? Why doesn't he or even some of your other agents drop in on the sellers and take the chip? Because Mr. Darrow wants an absolute guarantee that there will be no casualties. We will not play by their rules. We want them arrested and questioned, then properly prosecuted and sentenced. This will require stealth and efficiency. That's why a man with your particular skills will be indispensable. Let's do this. Not a place for you. Part of town, Lala. Go back.
You must get that chip back, Mr. Jensen. I got the chip. The sellers are out cold. Excellent work. Seems Mr. Darrow was right to trust you. We will send people to take care of the terrorists. Could I see the chip? Here you go. Ah, perfect. You don't know what this means, Mr. Jensen. Your help has been invaluable. Thank you. Even though this was a favor for Mr. Darrow, he believes you should be duly rewarded. Here is a payment in credits. I'm sure Mr. Darrow will wish to congratulate you himself. Expect to hear from him soon. It seems David has a flair for choosing his people, Mr. Jensen. You have done me a great service today. Glad I could help. I just wish I knew what this was all about. You never know, Mr. Jensen. One day, you just might. Excuse me, Mr. Jensen? I am not mistaken. You are Mr. Jensen, right? That depends. Who's asking? I am sorry, Mr. Jensen. I am being impolite. My name is Wing Hui. I am a doctor here. I can see that. What I really meant to ask is how do you know who I am? Yes, yes, of course. Excuse me, for I am a bit nervous. Bell Tower agents were here a while ago, looking for a man who fits your description. When I heard what they were saying of you, it occurred to me that you might be exactly the person I need. Need for what, exactly? Tread carefully, Doc, because I'm about one step away from losing my patience here. No, please, you misunderstand. I only wish to talk to you about something, and it is not an easy subject to discuss as it is a rather sensitive matter. Truly, Mr. Jensen, I would never force anyone to do something against their will. On that, you have my word. Glad to hear it. So what's this all about then? I... I'm afraid I won't be able to go into very much details. Not before I know you are really willing to help. But I need someone to help me to stop a very dangerous augmented soldier, and possibly his squad mates. If everything Bell Tower said of you is true, then you would seem the good fit for this job. Fine, I'll do it. 
Just tell me more. Thank you. Now please, understand that I am to give you sensitive information on multiple parties. I understand, Doc. You can count on my discretion. I appreciate it, Mr. Jensen. Obviously, you are familiar with Bell Tower and the role they have in this city. What you may not be familiar with, however, is the fact that sometimes they contract limb doctors like myself to work in private clinics on special projects. What kind of special projects? What you Americans call black operations. Bell Tower selects some of the best soldiers and make them to be super augmented with experimental top secret hardware. Not to sound too jaded, Doc, but none of that comes as a big surprise. Stuff like that's been going on for years. Yes. Your government and mine have both been guilty of this practice, I am sure. But Bell Tower is not a government. They are a private corporation, a private army on sale to the highest bidder. Is this about stopping Bell Tower then? Because as much as I might hate them right now, I'm only one man. No, no. It is not all of Bell Tower I need help with. It is just one of their covert operatives, a man named Michael Zelazny. He was implanted with experimental hardware and to an extent that is way beyond legal regulations. I am ashamed to say I have operated on him myself, and he has been used in countless secret operations for the Chinese and others. Sounds like the type of man you don't want to see going out of control. Precisely. Yet, about a month ago, I have heard rumors that Mr. Zelazny and part of his unit had gone rogue. And two weeks later, a city official was killed in a perfectly staged operation. I am certain it was them. And then, a few days ago, Mr. Zelazny contacted me himself. He needed urgent help with one of his squad mates' augmentations. I take it you said you would help. They sent me to the back store of a meat shop near Pandang Road, in the Yutsao district. There, I performed emergency repairs on one of the agent's augs, a servo replacement. I believe this back store is their hideout, Mr. Jensen. You must go there and make Mr. Zelazny hear reason. I'll do what I can. I am sure you are up to the task. Mr. Zelazny is a soldier, not a maniac. Your unique situation will no doubt resonate with him. And if things do turn sour and he must be terminated, I think you are quite a good candidate to get it done, or at least survive.